thing that's more boring than painting is watching a paint video. So let's both do this quickly so we can move on to something else. I need to repaint this basement steel door. It's flat on both sides. But it's got scratches, it even has the old sticker, and it has rust at the bottom. But we're going to repaint this quickly and it's going to look brand new. I've got some cool tips. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is pop the hinges off the door so we can take it off and paint it flat. This will allow us to have even coverage and keep it from running. If your door has too much rust to be sanded, check out my other video, Amazing Rust Killer, OSFO. On the end of the door, measure the center and put a mark. We're going to be putting these screws in both the top and the bottom, that way we can rest it on some blocks or sawhorses, so it will allow us to rotate and paint both sides of the door. So now what I like to do is put a coat of metal primer on the whole door. I'm going to use one of these foam rollers and this old pan. Uh, another tip, you don't have to clean these out. You don't have to throw them away. Just let the paint in it, pour it off, let it dry, and then reuse it. Now, if you're going to support this with screws on the ends like I have, be very sure that the screws actually went into wood and it's very sturdy. The last thing you would want is for this thing to drop and injure your foot or someone around you. Now we're going to flip it over. So there you have it. That took us about seven minutes to paint both sides. We're going to let it dry and then we'll come back and put the paint on it. So I just got back in from cutting the grass and the door is dry. So now what I like to do is take some fine grit sandpaper and just we're going to lightly sand the door just to get the little bumps. Um, as you feel the door you'll, you'll notice some maybe dust or imperfection. So just lightly sand that and then we're going to wipe it with the dry cloth. So for my paint, I'm going to use a semi-gloss interior. This is not really a door that's going to be exposed to the elements, so this should be fine. I'm also using this larger semi-smooth roller. this side is still wet and the nice thing about putting the screws in the end is that now we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the second side while this side is still drying. So again we're going to lightly sand the second side and then we're going to wipe it off with the dry cloth.
That took about three minutes to paint the second side. Now, if you look at it and you could see bleeding, you might, you might want to give it a second coat. This door actually looks pretty good. I'm hoping one coat will do it. So you got the primer and the paint, let it dry, and then we'll put the door back up. So while the door is continuing to dry, I want to give you two useful paint tips. These acrylic paint jars, when they're empty, wash it out, and I always like to take some of the paint that I used for my job and fill one of these containers. This is useful if you're painting your house, the walls. You always have touch-up paint handy. And be sure to mark on it what it was for. Before we put these back into the hinges, you want to put some oil on them. So take some oil, any kind. This is bar chain oil that works fine. And just lubricate all around on each of the three pins. This will help you in the future if you ever have to get them out. There's one more great painting tip I want to give you. Your rollers. If you need to paint later, you can take your roller and you can put it in a Ziploc bag or even the bag that it came in. Close it up. You can come back a week later and give it a second coat. So there you have it. In a couple of hours, it looks like I've got a brand new door. Saved myself a lot of money as well. I hope you picked up a few tips. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. See you next time. <laughs>